I'm gonna head downstairs and get our next beer review beer. Ow! Ow! It's like there's insufficient clearance. Ah! Dan and Lizzie from Till Beer to Us Park. And today we have Sketchbook Brewing Company insufficient clearance as Dan learned the hard way. You need to duck. shrink a little maybe or duck, I don't know. Duck and cover. It's not the duck first time cover. that's happened, I should have known. Let's get into this. So we got this while we were visiting our friends, Lindsay and Chance in Chicago. So. Uh, all right, I think I got it. Ooh, that is pretty. So this is, of course, a hazy IPA. I'm gonna take this off because I actually ah. got at least a finger's worth of head on this guy. Moderate head retention. Obviously, very hazy, like a pineapple-y color. Slightly orange. It is hazy, not the haziest I've ever mm, seen, but that smells amazing. It's very tropical smelling. Yes, very tropical. Pineapple, definitely very strong on the pineapple. It says here on the back that it, the juicy flavors of a mango, guava, and pineapple smoothie complete with whipped cream. I can smell a little bit of cream in there. Definitely a little it's, bit of Yeah, a, it's a different kind of sweetness that you can smell on that, more like a not a tropical sweetness. Roast. Roast. Mm. Ooh, that's really good. Oh. Very tropical in the taste. Very tropical. A little savory almost at the end though. Like it's a hazy IP, but you get a maltiness at the end. The same kind of doughy, mm. doughiness that the a pastry dough malt flavor. Pastry pastry dough malt flavor. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I don't know either. Notes of wheatgrass. Ah, whatever. This is good. I like IPAs, duh. I like hazy IPAs as long as they retain a good hop presence. Like some of them like are just juice. This I want is still pretty hops. hoppy. This is still pretty bitter. Yes, it's still got that hoppy bitterness to it, but it's got that mouthfeel and tropical taste of a hazy IPA. Yeah, it's still pretty it's still pretty hoppy. Yeah. I don't know, so do you know anything about uh IBUs on this one? I mean five percent ABV. Yeah. High. Probably pretty high. We one. got this one I, uh, on recommendation from a... A dear friend. A fella. A fella. A fella at Bottles and Cans in Lincoln Square. Lincoln in Lincoln, Lincoln Square. Mm. Creaminess. I guess there's a little bit there, but it's still got a little sharpness to it at the end. I think the creaminess comes more in the mouthfeel. Like, hazy IPA is due. It's got that little heavier mouthfeel than, like, your standard West Coast IPA. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. It's a sipper. Definitely, definitely sure. nice, easy drinking, deliciousness all around. It says mango first. I don't feel as much mango. I feel pine De pineapple. Pineapple first, mango second, and then I don't know what guava is, so. I go, I, I feel think like there's I, more guava. I feel like I've had guava before. I just can't put my finger on it. We should mention that we're drinking out of our Bearded Owl glasses today. Which we have done in the past. Bearded Owl, new brewery in Peoria, just opened last week, which was Crazy awesome. Really good beer, really good turnout. We uh, we are also have some extras of some gear from Bearded Owl. So we've got another set of glasses on this, uh, some howlers, so 32 ounce growlers, mm -hmm. uh, t shirts, some stickers. What else we got? Swag, general swag. So, uh, just to throw that out there to YouTube land. The general YouTube community. If we get to 100 subscribers on YouTube, we will do a giveaway of Bearded Owl swag. So if you watch us and haven't subscribed yet, click that shit. Yeah, click it. It's you might get there. some Bearded Owl swag. All right, ratings? Ratings. From the label and the description, I, I thought it was going to be a little bit fuller body, more like a, yeah. just a little hazier. Uh, as a result, I will give this a silver. I, okay, surprise guys, I actually have to agree with Dan on this one. I'm going to also give it a silver. You all know how I love my IPAs, and I really do like this one. I just, I agree with Dan, I feel like it's not your typical, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of hot presence to it. And like I said, I do like that, but it's to the point where it doesn't taste like a New England hazy, I, well I guess it doesn't say New England, just as hazy, but it it's has, very west coast. That's what I was just going to say. I think it has, I mean it doesn't say on there, it doesn't specify uh, a region, but yeah. it's, it's a hazy west coast IPA. The way that the, the hops sit in there and it's got this malt, kind would, of maltier finish to it. Yeah. I would rather have 
a non-hazy West Coast or a hazy New England. I don't know, this is a mix of the two, I think. It's just not Good to enough. the next level of gold. Definitely want to try some stuff from Sketchbook again, though. Yeah, definitely. Would love to see what they have to offer. Very good stuff. and. So, that is Sketchbook Brewing Company Insufficient Clearance. So As Dan learned the hard way. Please be careful with your head when you go to get this from your basement. Subscribe so we can do a giveaway! Yeah, do we, it! We want to give away our shit. We want to give away shit! Thick. CC. Thick with two C's. Can you keep saying thick like you know what it means? Do people know what sketch means? Just like fleek and thick fleek, and extra. Extra. On point. On fleek. I'm not sure what any of those mean yet. <laughs>